You've been a frequent contributor to the Jay Leno show. Yes. Um, what are your thoughts on the recent controversy with uh, Conan and uh, Jay? Well, it was to me, Leno was unfairly vilified. And you oh. shouldn't vilify Conan either. I mean, look, the guy wanted to host a Tonight Show. And, but the fact is, the way critics looked at it is they were like, well, you've got to give Conan some time. And I agree, Conan should have gotten more time. But no one said that about Jay. They weren't being fair to Jay. Like, no one was saying, hey, look, Jay's show is struggling, but give him some time. He'll find his, his pace and the bits that work. And the, nobody gave him that kind of leniency. It was like, by, you know, by night two, they were just attacking him. Like, oh, he's terrible, get him off. It was just because they had to be, they had an agenda. They wanted him off so they could insert a certain programming again. Because, you know, critics are like any other group. Uh, they have self-interest at heart. And if Leno is successful five nights a week, that's five nights of dramas and five nights of other things that they can't talk about. So I didn't fault people for siding with Conan or Letterman. I just didn't like the way they vilified Jay. And I'm obviously fiercely loyal to Leno. But, uh, you know, even though I'm loyal to, to Leno, I didn't want to knock Conan or Letterman. I mean, you know, they're just doing what they should do to get themselves in a better position. It's a business. Mm -hmm. So I, I hated the way... If people thought Jay's show wasn't good and didn't like it, fair enough. That's a fair criticism. But to vilify him like he's this bad guy because he wants to continue hosting the show he was number one at for 13 years is just childish. It's like he's still funny. People forget that this guy was a national headlining comic. Like he, he, I mean, he knows how to be funny. Um, and whether people realize it or not, he does the edgiest monologue. He addresses stuff uh, a lot differently than the other guys do. Watch the way he addresses certain racial issues or social issues. He's not this mom and pop comic. I mean, he's not vicious, but he addresses edgier stuff than people ever give him credit for. So I think that, uh, you know, look, why wouldn't he return to where he was? Will it take a little bit of time? Sure. But I think people are going to watch between him, him and Letterman to see what's going back and forth. I think Leno, uh, Leno will be fine. And Conan will go on whenever he goes back on, and he'll be fine. And then like Jay said, the three of them will just fight it out. That's what it's about. Whoever has the best ratings should, should be considered the best.